This has not been communicated to the players camp. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Fabrizio Romano here as always to keep you posted on the transfer market. Today, guys, we touch on Mauricio Pochettino, Sofian Amrabat and Ruben Amorim. Let's jump into it together. And so guys, let me start with Sofian Amrabat because I see many reports around on the Moroccan midfielder who is part of Manchester United squad on loan from Fiorentina. Manchester United paid a big loan fee, around 10 million euros, and now they have a buy option in the summer for 20 million euros. What Manchester United will do? At the moment, this has not been communicated to the players' camp or anyone at Fiorentina. So I was checking and Manchester United have not informed both sides about their decision on Amrabat, so it will be made later this year so it remains open but also because they paid a big loan fee so after spending 10 million euros they have to decide what they want to do with Sofian Amrabat so the conversation it will be ongoing in the next weeks but for sure it's an open story for the future of Amrabat is not guaranteed that he's gonna stay at Manchester United what's important to say on Sofian Amrabat is that in January two clubs asked about the possibility to break the loan of Amrabat from Fiorentina to Manchester United and sign Amrabat on new loan for the January transfer window till the end of the season. The two clubs, from what they heard, were Juventus. Juventus asked for information on Amrabat, but from Fiorentina and United it was a no. And same when Barcelona, who already wanted Amrabat one year ago, asked about that possibility to return on Sofia and Amrabat in January. It was again a no from Manchester United. No intention to break that loan. Then, guys, in terms of managers, many questions on Mauricio Pochettino, but Chelsea position remains the same. Their priority, then we have to see what happens in the next games. Obviously, they want to see uh, positive results. This is very obvious. But in terms of plan for the future, Chelsea want and always wanted to assess the situation at the end of this season. So not changing during the season, but assessing the situation at the end of the season. This has always been the priority of the club. So this remains the plan at Chelsea, to decide at the end of the season what's the situation and assess the situation with the manager. So that remains the priority. Then let's see the next games, how it will go. We know the pressure is there since two months ago. Obviously, they want to see the results. They want to see something different altogether. But it's important to say that the priority remains end of the season to discuss the future of Mauricio Pochettino. And also important to say about managers, keep an eye on Ruben Amorim because Ruben Amorim is appreciated by many clubs. In England, especially in England, not only in England, but in Premier League, many clubs are keeping close eye to the work of Ruben Amorim, who is doing excellent at sporting in Portugal, not just this year, but since long time. From what I know, guys, he has released close into his contract 33 million euros. So this is the release close of Ruben Amorim. Let's see what's going to happen at the end of the season, what he's going to decide at the end of the season about his future. But there is a lot of appreciation for Ruben Amorim, multiple clubs like him we know that for example at Liverpool the priority is Xabi Alonso but we know that for Xabi Alonso it's Liverpool against Bayern I will update you in the next days about Xabi Alonso situation so the situation at Liverpool is very clear but Ruben Amorim is one of the, the managers appreciated by people at the club waiting for Liverpool to have a new structure as I said let's see what's going to happen at Chelsea but also other clubs are keeping close eye to Ruben Amorim so he could be a name to watch in the summer domino for managers. And so guys, let me know your thoughts on Mauricio Pochettino, Ruben Amorim, and also Sofia Amrabat. I wait for your comments. Here as always, remember to like this video, turn on the notification bell, subscribe to the channel. See you soon with Fabrizio. Ciao.